Hey guys, Chad Trofgerbin here. A few months ago, I did a series of Joomla tutorials, and in one of them, I showed you how to install Joomla on your web space. The process was pretty long and tedious and had a lot of steps. However, there is an easier way to do it if your web space has Fantastico or Simple Scripts. It basically allows for a one-click installation. So log into the back end of your web space, and if you don't have web space, you can follow the link on the bottom of my video here to get web space. But once you've logged in, simply scroll down and locate an icon that's called Fantastico or Simple Scripts. In my case, it's located right here. So once you find it, just click on it, and you're brought to the Fantastico uh, homepage. So now you have some basic information here. You can see that I have WordPress installed on some areas, but on the left, you have access to a wide variety of different programs that you can install on any domain and so forth. So for instance, I have Joomla 1.5 located right here. I can click that and install it. There's WordPress, there's different forums. There's just a lot of different stuff that you can do here. So once you locate Joomla or whatever you want to install, just click that and you'll have access to some basic information here. It just tells you what Joomla is and all that. Just find the new installation and click that. You're then brought to the installation screen and you just have a few different options here. First, you can choose where to install the website on what domain that you have registered. I have quite a few, but I'll just choose my Joomla tutorial uh, subdomain that I've made for this video. You can choose to install the website on a different directory than that of your domain. So you can just simply type in your folder there if you choose to do that, but I'm gonna leave that blank. You then put in your username and then a password so you can access the back end of your website. I'll just choose test pass for now. And you then put in your email address and then you can put in your full name if you choose to. So I'll just put in Chad. And then you can name the website so that you know everyone knows what it is. Now the thing is, you can change all of this once you have Joomla installed. So nothing can be set in stone here. You can just put a temporary name or whatever. So you can change all of it once you have done all that. So once you've filled out most of the information that you want for now, just click Install Joomla 1.5. And it'll just kind of verify and you just then click finish installation. And now we see some more information here. First, it advises that you don't delete this file from your web space because you can use Fantastico to also delete or uninstall Joomla. And so as long as you have this file sitting in your website, you can do that later on if you choose to but it also gives you the link to your website and to your backend. So we can just simply click this, open a new tab and see what it looks like. And we have Joomla installed on that subdomain. And of course too, we could just go to this link to log into the backend of our website. And as you can see, I can do just that. So again, this is a very simple process. It's a lot faster than what I showed you before. And if you have Fantastico or Simple Scripts, I highly advise this method over the previous one because, again, it basically does all the work for you. And if you don't have web space or you'd like to upgrade web space and have Fantastico and all that good stuff, check out the link on my video. It's the service I use and I really like it. And it's very affordable too. So check it out if you're shopping around for some web space. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you next time.